Hey besties, welcome to Cozy Rosie Reviews from My Couch. Today I am doing a documentary review for Amber, the girl behind the alert, currently on Peacock. It is from director Elizabeth Fisher, and it's the story of Amber Hagerman, the girl whose abduction and murder inspired the Amber Alert, which has since saved many, many kids. So this was my first time hearing about the case and I was very surprised that this case happened in the early 90s and how new the Amber Alert actually is. And it's kind of cool to see like how much it has transformed throughout the years. Like at first it just started with the police getting in touch with radio stations and the radio stations kind of disseminating this alert to people in their cars and or listening to the radio. And today you get an alert on your cell phone whenever there's someone missing near you. So that's kind of cool just to see how that transformed throughout the years. And the case is actually really, really sad because this girl was abducted. She was just like outside riding her bike, living her best life. Someone grabbed her, put her in a car. And it was interesting because her family was actually a topic of a different documentary and there was a lot of footage of her so they were able to get a lot of that footage out so that people could at least see like what she looked like to try and find where she could possibly be they eventually found her body but they have never found whoever abducted slash murdered her so fingers still crossed that at some point in the near future um with all the advances in DNA testing and all of these technological advances we have today can actually find who did it. And I found that to be the wildest part. Like it's been a very long time and they've had thousands of leads and still nothing. So that part was super duper sad. It was really sad just seeing that case unfold. But there were things that came out of the case like the Amber Alert and really how her mom just took that pain and turned it into being able to help other families and other kids. And it even showed one occasion where I think it was one of the first times that the Amber Alert was activated and they were able to find the baby relatively quickly and get the baby back to her parents. So it's like out of all of that sadness did come something good, but it's Still a very sad case. And that's honestly one of the reasons why I really wanted to do this review. Because hey, you never know. With maybe people watching this documentary, more leads can come up. Maybe something can happen. Just like with the Golden State Killer. With that fresh look at the evidence and at what happened at that point in time, they were able to catch the Golden State Killer. So I'm hoping with this documentary and with people doing reviews and really talking about this documentary, maybe they can find this person and that would finally give some closure or something to the family. So, fingers crossed. Over rating, I give Amber, the girl behind the alert, a three. It was good, it was solid. It's definitely sad. I wish there was more closure, but I wish there was just more closure with the case. It is definitely educational and enjoyable. Have you watched this documentary? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. And don't forget to check out my merch shop below. So, until next time, friends. Bye.